Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles, the red one uh, and the blue one, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, red circle is uh, 4 pi centimeter square, whereas the area for the blue circle is uh, pi centimeter square. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, green uh, triangle uh, ADC, where A and uh, B are the centers uh, of these uh, circles where D and uh, E are the points of tangency and furthermore uh, these uh, two circles uh, are tangent to each other at this point and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our action plan. Before we do anything else, uh, we must uh, calculate the radii of both of uh, these uh, circles. So therefore, let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. Let's focus on this uh, red circle first, whose area is uh, 4 pi. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 4 pi equal to pi r square. Now let's divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. This one is gone uh, as uh, well. So therefore we are ended up with the uh, r square equals to 4. Let's undo this uh, square. So therefore our uh, radius uh, turns out to be positive 2. So therefore, the radius uh, of this uh, red uh, circle uh, turns out to be 2 centimeter. Let me go ahead and label uh, the radius of this uh, big uh, red circle as uppercase R. So I'm going to put uh, uppercase R equals to 2. So therefore, our uppercase uh, R radius uh, turns out to be 2. So this uh, is our radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 2 centimeter. And now let's focus on this uh, blue circle whose uh, area is uh, pi. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, pi equal to pi r square. Let's divide both sides by pi. This and this is gone. Likewise, this is gone uh, as well. So therefore, uh, r square turns out to be equal to 1. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, radius r turns out to be 1 so therefore the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 1 uh, centimeter let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, radius uh, of the blue circle as a uh, lowercase r equals to 1 and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center b with this uh, point uh, e as you can see over here and now we can see that this uh, BE is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle and we know the radius uh, is 1 so this is going to be 1 centimeter and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram these angles both of them uh, are 90 degrees since uh, these are our radii and this is our tangent line and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are collinear and here in our case uh, this uh, a and b are the centers and this point uh, is the point of tangency so therefore all uh, these uh, three points uh, lie on the very same line now let's focus on these uh, two right triangle the big uh, right triangle ADC and this uh, smaller triangle uh, BEC. Now we can see that these uh, two right triangles uh, ADC and the other triangle BEC are similar triangles according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem. Since uh, this angle is in common and these are uh, 90 degree angles each. So therefore we are going to have a proportion that means uh, I can write as a ratio for bigger uh, right triangle as uh, AC divided by AD equals to the ratio for smaller right triangle which is uh, 
B C divided by B E. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this is the radius uh, of this uh, big red circle. So this is going to be 2. This uh, is the radius uh, for this uh, blue small circle which is 1 and likewise this radius uh, is 1 uh, as well. And let me go ahead and call this uh, line segment uh, F uh, C as uh, x centimeter so therefore our this uh, ac length is going to be all uh, this one is going to be 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus x so that is going to give us uh, x plus 4 so therefore i can write uh, x plus 4 divided by 2 equals to and now our bc length uh, this one is going to be simply 1 plus x so i can write uh, x uh, plus 1 so therefore i can write uh, x uh, plus uh, 1 uh, divided by our b length is uh, 1 now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we can write uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 2 equals to x uh, plus uh, 4 and now let's go ahead and subtract uh, x and 2 from both side this positive and negative 2 is gone. So on the left hand side we got x equals to this uh, positive negative x is gone. So x turns out to be 2 centimeter. So therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be 2 centimeter. So therefore our this uh, whole AC length turns out to be 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is going to give us uh, 6 centimeter. So therefore our AC length turns out to be 6 cm. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green right triangle uh, ADC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, CD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call our longest uh, leg uh, as uh, side uh, C. I'm going to call uh, this side uh, A and this side uh, lowercase b. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a we don't know a square plus b in our case is 2 become 2 square and our this uh, c length uh, is this ac which is uh, 6 uh, square. So therefore we're going to have uh, a square plus uh, 4 equal to 36. Let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. This is gone. So a square turns out to be 32. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square to get uh, a. So therefore our a value is going to be equal to. And now let's focus on the right hand side square root of 32. I have copied down over here and if we simplify that turns out to be 4 times square root of 2. So therefore our a value turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 centimeter. We know our this uh, length A is uh, this uh, distance CD. So this uh, length uh, CD turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle ADC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base is 4 times square root of 2 and our height uh, is uh, 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be a half times uh, our base is 4 times uh, square root of 2 times our height uh, is uh, 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2. So thus the area of this uh, green uh, triangle turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 centimeter square and that is approximately equal to 5.66 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.